We are back at the airport, but this time we're here to show you the unveiling of Terminal 2. We were both born and raised in Bozeman, and we remember when there was just two flights out of here. You could go to Salt Lake, or you could go to Minneapolis. But now there is 21 direct flights, and we cannot wait to show you the new terminal. So when this baggage system was put in 10 years ago, it was like, you know, for an airport our size, it was huge. We've outgrown. Upstairs in the concourse, uh, real estate is at a premium. Oh wow. We oh, actually wow. have a full prep kitchen. We are here at the brand new terminal in the airport with Brian Springer. Thank you so much for having us. We are so excited for this new addition. It says 26.5 million, but I hear it's a little bit more with all the other costs wrapped in. Yeah, the, the 26.5 uh, million is the construction cost and the acquisition costs like boarding bridges and the building of the apron for the aircraft to park in. Uh, but then when you add in design fees and architectural uh, engineering reviews and such, it takes it to about $30 million. You mentioned the additional costs previously that you guys had incurred with the baggage area below, the runway space, the parking garage. What did that total come to approximately? Spending about a hundred million dollars every five to six years uh, in infrastructure at the airport. Uh, it was only three years ago we built our uh, parallel runway. Uh, and then we spent uh, a lot of time with the parking garage. Uh, we've rehabilitated all of the asphalt on the entire airport and then going into uh, next year we'll be working on the brand new baggage system uh, uh, and that'll be about a two, two and a half year project by itself. It's incredible. We obviously have that amount of growth coming to Bozeman to support that cost. How many people do you think are flying in and out of this airport? So in, in 2019 we handled right around 1.6 million passengers between the 800,000 outbound and the 800,000 inbound. Uh, obviously this year we're going to be down probably around 40% uh, uh, on an annual basis, uh, but we are starting to see that, uh, you know, slowly climb back up. I've been really fascinated with how many direct flights we have out of Bozeman. You said 21 destinations, is that correct? Correct. We have 21 destinations. Uh, several of those have been added this year. Believe it or not, despite the pandemic, uh, so we are seeing a lot of interest in you know the Gallatin Valley in Southwest Montana, uh, and we're really diversifying. I think a lot of our service. So while we may not be at the numbers that we had last year, uh, we're seeing it diversified over a, you know a number of new destinations such as Nashville, uh, also Boston, uh, Charlotte coming up this winter along with Fort Lauderdale. And so, you know, I think uh, the trend lines are good. Uh, we're just not back to where we were hoping to be. So for travelers, there's a lot of choices to fly out of this airport. How many domestic airlines do we have that fly directly out of here? So we have eight airlines currently serving Bozeman. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's only 11 domestic airlines in the United States. Okay, so this terminal is opening for inbound flights on Wednesday, November 4th, and outbound flights Thursday, November 5th. And then Ross Peak Grill right behind us will be opening the following week to start servicing all of these customers. Thank you so much for checking out Terminal 2 with us today. As always, we're Gallatin Real Estate, where we're always at your side. And don't forget, click below to subscribe. Thank you so much for checking out Turbo. Wait, let me start over. Wait, let me start over. That's bad. Let me start over. <laughs> Here at the airport in the brand. Service to Salt Lake City. So we're here at the oh, airport. Sorry. I'm a little <laughs> Okay.